there's this road that goes by all these embassies and that. So here's the, the Netherlands. A few other ones are up there. And I come up to this park. It's a nice big park. Huge trees. So in the summer they'd be used for shade because it does get hot here. Really. But I want to come to see this monument in the center of it. it jumps out at you. So uh, let's see what it says. There's a little play area for kids. I just discovered this as they're walking down towards to find something to eat. 1877 to 1878. I'll use my Google Translate to figure out what it is in a second. Okay. Medically, we died in the Turkish War. I don't know if medically goes right, but it's commemorate the Turkish War. So those are all just names of people who perished in that one year war. Interesting monument. Let's walk around it. Maybe it says medically we died, meaning their physical being died, but their memory and their legacy was on through this monument. That's a little take to it. A little boy watering. There's a few other features that are around in this park but what I have a feature I want is something to eat let's see if I can find something okay so that states stone fragments of the 5th century in Bulgaria and Sofia so here you see it looks like all these different scattered stone pieces but these are all been excavated so it has all the different pieces from the 5th century so it goes back to like, remember when we walked around the uh, the uh, excavation site near the metros? Anyways, I think there's a few restaurants around here. There's one here, and there's some along there, so I'll definitely be able to find something there soon. For a um, place to eat, see these cobblestone roads coming down from the cathedral where we had that park. We come up to this. The Russian Cultural Information Center. There's the... Russian flag there. So they do did have strong influence in Bulgaria. I wonder how it works now with them being part of the EU and all that. But this looks like it may be a restaurant. We'll see. Yeah, that unfortunately is closed. Breta, it's it's when I googled it up, it was a uh, cheese. It says. Looked like they had big pizzas and different types of cheese based meals. Looked interesting, but not right now. We'll keep on searching for Quest for a Restaurant to give me some breakfast. Looks like an interesting bridge up ahead. I haven't found a place to satisfy me. There was, you know, we walked by the Spanish Embassy. So it's a very affluent area, I think, with all the embassies around. I wonder what that is. It's uh, there's a gate at it, so you can't drive through. I guess there's a lot of little places that have coffee and cakes, but I don't know if I want a cake. I want a something for breakfast. So. I don't think it looks good that way. this way I don't know we'll take a look maybe I'll get a coffee and a cake and we're gonna go into that place I looked at originally they only had the coffee and the bread and that but the coffee it looks high-end looks nice so and they have a place to sit in saw a few places that were look like more bakeries but nowhere really to sit and enjoy it um, so I'll chance my arm in here looks pretty good anyways See what it's like when we get inside. So you have seating outside if you want. And inside. Let's go see what it's like. 
way sooner than I thought. They have like a little brunch there, so you go and you can choose all your little items. I'll show you. So they have eggs and bacon there. And then they have all these different tasty treats. And of course, they brought you coffee. So here's my plate. So I took a bit of everything. Pretty good. Let me see. So let's see the eggs. The eggs, they look like they're normal eggs. What I'm looking at is, look at this. They have a toasty egg. And then this. Mmm. Very nice. It's like a donut dish. But savory. Mm. And to finish this, maybe get another one. Okay, so that was it. I had an extra coffee there. Coffee was good. It wasn't as good as the place yesterday we went to for uh, that pastry, which the pastry wasn't that great, but the coffee was amazing. This place, uh, it was interesting. It was a different way to pull. Uh, a lot of the eggs and stuff were cold, um, but the buffet and that, so the whole bill came to 24 lav, which is basically 14, uh, no, 12 euros. But that was the, the buffet as much as you eat. I just had one plate and two coffees. Normally coffees are about four lav each round. So two euros each, so four euros. So I guess the whole meal cost me, the meal itself was about uh, six euros. So it wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. I'm full. Killed some time. So we're now we're getting close to, hopefully the ceremony is over and we'll go into the uh, Alexander Nevsky uh, church take a walk around um, there I looked online you can take tours there's guided tours or there's audio tours you can take um, but you can take walk it yourself but you uh, there's a fee for if you want to take pictures so I'll be paying that and we'll see what that is okay here's a uh, right outside the, the cathedral of Alexander Nevsky there's another church here there's a monument with a flame going and it basically says, Bulgaria, they died for you. One was worthy of you because of them. And they were worthy for mother. So that's what the translation of it is. Okay, keep on. Just so you know, the mass is still ongoing or the service. I don't know what they call it. It's a mass. It's for the Bulgarian Orthodox Church. So, when they all flood out, we'll go in, pay our fee, and take a walk around the church. There's a few interesting places around here. So, got your big lion I took a picture of, and there's something up here too. There's a big monument of some sort. Oh yeah, and then there's a marketplace here too. Yeah, it says in the square there was a, there's a daily market that takes place. So here's some more. We'll go see that statue later. A lot of woodwork stuff. Like when I got the uh, the um, fridge magnets, they were all made of wood. These are all religious figures. And stuff. Here's a couple more. Magnets. Take a rush of that. Coins. <laughs> See what this is.
Philippines medals, military stuff. Yeah. He's swimming here in space. Lenin. Uh, Moscow 1980. Yeah. It's a different sport. Yeah. Space program, interspace. How much are the pins? Like? It depends. Okay, 10 lives. The medals. And this is 10 lives. Okay. And this is learning go to school children. Have the pin okay. always ready. Hmm. And this is symbol for Olympic Games. Yeah. Michel. Good price for both pins for 50 years. Yeah. Look, here the stamps. Here the wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is metal. It's aluminium. Yeah. And this is Bulgarian. Dimitrov. Same like any. Okay. Georgi Dimitrov. Okay. Hmm. Years learning. Cool. Any, any colors, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Lives, euros, US. No, no, I have left. So these are pins. And you said the kids would have this? The kids would get this? Like the children? Yes, for children. Yeah. Always ready. Stay. I have, and this is set in Bulgarian pin. Oh, yeah. Go to school for children. Chavdarche, Pionerche, and Skumsumulac in the flock. Okay. Yes, good set. Hmm. I'll get this then. I'll get this. I don't need a bag. No, okay. it's okay. Yes. Okay. Look at that again. So I've got a little souvenir. It's actually very uh, current today. Hello. Oh, this one. All sorts of memorabilia. Coins. More pins. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Rabbit, paper, shake, so it's a mild, so it's a pony open. <laughs> How much is this? Five left. Five left? Five left. Yeah, I like this one. I'll okay. take this one. There, so. Oh, let me see what else is there. Uh, oh, Complete. 55 left? Yes, I'll give you 50 left. No, it's okay, I don't... Uh, Pin. I'm okay it with is. that. Yeah. Perfect. Well. Cut interest, this model. 
No, I don't need a hat like that. Thank you. So five. Matroshka za chill. Eight left. Eight left. Eight left. Eight. This market, fifteen left. Fifteen. 15. This eight left. Eight. Eight left. I'll give one of these two. Okay. So eight and five. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen left. Thirteen left. Yeah. I'll pay her up. Okay, so here's the yeah. 10 and 13. Thank you very much. Yeah, plug it in. Here you go. So, a couple little purchases there. I like that uh, the uh, fridge magnet there. Really heavy, really strong. And then there's the uh, the little pin from the, that the children would get uh, with Lenin on it. Always ready, it says in uh, Slavic and Russian. That was an interesting little buy, and then I got the little little globe thingy with the with the uh, snow that comes down. Little souvenir. Now we're coming up to the center. Very stern looking. says Samuel, King of Bulgaria, 997 to mural down here so we're just gonna skedaddle over there and then head back towards the hostel actually I think we came this way so I have to wait and stop at the walk here's the road see see if they're all golden roads okay here we're coming up this mosaic I saw I thought it was a mural it's more like a mosaic. It's textured in the side of the building. Looks like a feast. And there's a bunch of hands and feet there. Here's an interesting building. Look at the way that there's like a point at the top with copper and then the glass facade around the corner of the building. There's a restaurant there. Just thought it looked neat. The only reason I showed it. Just like you see different types of architecture throughout Sofia. That's just, you're just forever turning your head and looking around and it's pretty amazing. 